Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from Triangles chapter and it is taken from CBSE class 10 2024-25 sample question paper for mathematics standard with subject code 041 section E where each question is of 4 marks. Now this question has 3 sub questions. The first sub question is for 1 mark. The second sub question is for 1 mark. And the third sub question is for 2 marks and it has an OR question as well. That is either you can attempt the A question or the B one. So let us start with the first question now. Triangle is a very popular shape used in interior designing. The picture given shows a cabinet designed by a famous interior designer. Here the largest triangle, that is they are talking about this triangle, is represented by the triangle ABC. And the smallest triangle with one shelf is represented by the triangle DEF. And it is given that PQ is parallel to EF. Here we need to show that the triangle DPQ is similar to triangle DEF. So let us try to understand the question here. Here they have shown a picture of a shelf designed by a famous interior designer and it is in the shape of a triangle as we can see. And this big triangle of the shelf is represented by triangle ABC and the smallest triangle that is this triangle is represented by the triangle DEF. Now here the PQ that is this part is parallel to EF, that is the base of this triangle. So with this information, we have to prove that the triangle DPQ is similar to triangle DEF. So here we begin by writing the given data, that is PQ is parallel to EF. And here we need to prove that triangle DPQ is similar to triangle DEF. And for that, we have broken this big triangle into two small triangles, that is triangle DPQ, the small one, and the big triangle DEF as we have drawn over here. So let us begin by checking which angles are going to be same. Now here in the triangle DPQ and triangle DEF, we can see that angle D is a common angle. So here the first thing we have written is angle PDQ is equal to angle EDF. That is the common angle for both the triangles. Now the next thing we have written is angle DPQ, that is this angle, is equal to angle DEF. Now this happens because in the question it was mentioned PQ is parallel to EF. So these two angles become the corresponding angles of the two parallel lines PQ and EF. Finally we have written here angle DQP that is this angle is equal to angle DFE. The last and final angle. Again the reason being the corresponding angles of the two parallel lines PQ and EF. Now we can say that by angle 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 similarity criterion we say that the triangle DPQ is similar to triangle DEF. Now let us move on to the second sub question. If DP is equal to 50 centimeter and PE is equal to 70 centimeter, then find PQ divided by EF. So let us mark the given sides. So here we have marked DP as 50 centimeter and PE as 70 centimeter. And we have again taken reference to the previous triangles that we had got by splitting this big triangle. So here in triangle DPQ, DP is marked as 50. And here in the triangle DEF, we have got DE as 120 cm. That is the total length of DE. That is 50 plus 70, which gives us 120 cm. Now once we have got this, we had also proved in part 1 of this question that Triangle DPQ was similar to triangle DEF and if the triangles are similar then the corresponding sides of the two triangles will be in the same proportion. So let us write here by angle 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 similarity criterion we say that triangle DPQ is similar to triangle DEF which means the corresponding sides of the two triangles will be in same proportion. Therefore we have PQ divided by its corresponding side EF will be equal to the given side which is DP over its corresponding side DE. So here we have written PQ over EF is equal to DP over DE. Now here we have to just plug in the values of DP and DE. So we have PQ over EF is equal to 50 over 120. Now cancelling the zeros from the numerator and the denominator, we get PQ over EF as 5 over 12. So this is the value of PQ over EF. Now let us move on to the third sub question. If 2 times AB is equal to 5 times DE and triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, 
then show that the perimeter of triangle ABC over the perimeter of triangle DEF is a constant. So here we have been given two hints that is 2 times AB is equal to 5 times DE that is one of the hint and the triangle ABC is given similar to triangle DEF. So let us consider only the triangle DEF and triangle ABC now. So here we have started with the given things. The first thing is triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF which means the corresponding sides of the two triangles will be in same proportion. And the second thing is 2 times AB is equal to 5 times DE. And here we have taken DE on the left hand side and 2 on the right hand side. So we get it as AB over DE is equal to 5 over 2. Now once we have done this, since it is mentioned that these two triangles are similar, now we are going to write their sides in the same proportion. Starting with the given sides, that is AB over DE is equal to BC over EF is equal to AC over DF. Now since AB over DE was given as 5 over 2, the rest of the sides also becomes in the same proportion that is 5 over 2. Now in the next step, we are going to equate each proportion with 5 over 2. That is starting with AB over DE is equal to 5 over 2. Now the second one that is BC over EF is equal to 5 over 2. And lastly, AC over DF is equal to 5 over 2. That is we have separated each of the sides with its proportion. Now, in the next step, we have taken for the first one DE on the right hand side. So, AB will be equal to 5 over 2 times DE. The same thing repeats for the second one, that is EF is taken on the right hand side. So, BC will be equal to 5 over 2 times EF. And lastly, DF is taken on the right hand side. So, we get AC is equal to 5 over 2 DF. Now, once we have done this, let us consider the given fraction that is perimeter of triangle ABC over perimeter of triangle DEF. Now the perimeter is nothing but the sum of all the sides of the triangle. So for triangle ABC we have written AB plus BC plus AC divided by now perimeter of triangle DEF is DE plus EF plus DF. Now let us look at the numerator. Now over here in this step we have written AB, BC and AC in terms of DE EF and DF. So here we have replaced AB with 5 over 2 DE and BC with 5 over 2 EF and AC with 5 over 2 DF. Now since 5 over 2 is a common fraction for all the sides, we have taken 5 over 2 common out and inside the bracket remains DE plus EF plus DF divided by the perimeter of triangle DEF that is DE plus EF plus DF. Now if we look at this fraction DE plus EF plus DF from the numerator divides DE plus EF plus DF from the denominator. So we are left with 5 over 2 in the numerator. So here we have written perimeter of triangle ABC over perimeter of triangle DEF is equal to 5 over 2. And 5 over 2 is a constant. So we have shown that the ratio of the perimeters is equal to a constant. Now let us move on to the OR question. If AM and DN are medians of triangles ABC and DEF respectively, then prove that triangle ABM is similar to triangle DEN. So let us consider the triangle ABC and DEF now. So here we have drawn the triangle ABC along with its median AM as it is mentioned here and the triangle DEF along with its median DN. Now it was given in the question that the triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. So we can say that the corresponding sides of the two triangles will be in same proportion. So for the triangle ABC and triangle DEF, we have written the corresponding sides as AB over DE is equal to BC over EF is equal to AC over DF. Now the second thing they have given is AM and DN are the medians of the triangle ABC and triangle DEF. So here the median AM cuts the side BC and the median DN cuts the side EF and whichever side the median cuts it gets divided into two equal halves. So the side BC gets divided as BM equal to MC. Same thing happens over here. DN divides the side EF into two equal halves that is EN is equal to NF. So here we are going to write BC over EF is equal to BC divided by 2 over EF divided by 2 and here when it gets divided into two equal halves, we have considered the side BM and EN because we have been asked to find out whether the triangle ABM 
is similar to triangle DEN. Now once we have done this, we have written here AB over DE is equal to BC over EF. But BC over EF is equal to BM over EN. So here we can write AB over DE is equal to BC over EF but BC over EF is equal to BM over EN which means the sides are proportional. So here we can directly write now AB over DE is equal to BM over EN that is if we are considering the triangles ABM and DEN. Now once we have written this we also know that since the triangles ABC and triangle DEF are similar we can say that angle B is equal to angle E. So here we have written also angle B is equal to angle E. Therefore by side angle side similarity criterion we can say that the triangle ABM is similar to triangle DEN. So here it is SAS because so the sides are AB over DE so this side is proportional and there is an inclusive angle in between so this is side this is angle and again followed by a proportional side that is BM over EN. So this becomes SAS similarity criterion. Hence we have written here these two triangles are similar. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video and if you found this video useful then you can click on these playlists where you will find more examples of these kind and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.